Ias Redman. He didn't see this. Did you see this, Joe, going around on Twitter? What? This feature called Recall on Windows. Your wind? What? Yeah, let me play this for you. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. We introduce memory, right? Photographic memory into what you do on the PC. And now we have it. So it's called Recall. It's not keyword search, right? It's semantic search over all your history. And it's not just about any document. We can recreate moments from the past, essentially. Here's how it works. Windows constantly takes screenshots of what's on your screen, then uses a generative AI model right on the device, along with the NPU, to process all that data and make it searchable, even photos. I got to try it out. I searched brown leather bag. It came up in visual search. There's no place on this page that it says brown leather bag. It just knows because it sees this brown leather bag. There could be this reaction from some people that this is pretty creepy. Microsoft is taking screenshots of everything I do. Yeah, I mean, that's why that it can only do it on the edge, right? So this is like, you know, you, can't, you have to put two things together. This is my computer. This is my recall. Uh, and it's all being done locally. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Texas is going to ban my recall. Like they're not going to let me like it's going to be porn. I don't trust you at all. Yeah. I don't trust you at all. It's all done locally. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's no way the government's going to have access to every keystroke you make and be able to see all, well, that's ridiculous. And it's going to summarize everything you do. Well, not only that, it's not that difficult especially for government organizations, to get into your fucking computer. Are you connected to a secure Wi-Fi? Are you even using a VPN? Are you Like, what are you doing? What kind of a firewall do you have? How many people are sophisticated enough to set it up so that you can't look at everything they do? It's like your friend's uh, phone ye or yesterday They're or two really days ago. <laughs> That's yesterday. a straight-up virus that he was downloading. <laughs> like, People are saying it's not. People are saying it's just like if you have your case on improperly, it's pressing two buttons at the same time. Or for Was his phone on the table, Jamie, or was it in his bag? I do not remember. I don't remember either. I think if you're pre I think on some of these win uh, Android phones, if you're pressing two buttons at the same time, it reboots. Right, so there's a bootloader mode. That's why you can like do different things to your phones. But that bootloader screen yeah. does not look like uh, uh, it looks so <laughs> cheap. Dude. Like I had like I was like the arrow that was in it. I was like I've seen this arrow. That's clip art. Like I think it even said Getty Images on the side of it or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the barcode. Yeah. Like why does it have a barcode? What are you buying? Yeah. This is not for sale. Right. Why does it have a barcode? Right, and how are you going to scan that barcode with the phone that you're holding? Like, <laughs> like oh, it's got a barcode. It must be legit. Right. Yeah, that seems so so fake. That was what like, it looked look like. Look at that. Look at all that Chinese writing, too. Let's get the fuck out of here. I guess it's Korean because it's Samsung. Uh, uh, do not disconnect USB cable during software update. So it's saying downloading, and it says it in Korean. So it's doing something. That See, that just looks... <laughs> That does not look official. The thing <laughs> is, my point was, it took a while. And, like, what if he broke his leg? Right. Like, what if he just fell on his bike and broke his leg, and now all of a sudden he's got a call for an ambulance, and he's laying there with his fucking shin bone poking out of his calf, and he's got to sit there while his stupid phone does that. That's why I can't be real. Can you reboot that? Can you stop that? Is that possible? That's what I had circled. It said that you could cancel it. You can cancel it. Well, that's why when when I you posted that video, I texted you, tell him to hold down the power button and the up arrow, like like reboot your phone, <laughs> stop doing whatever it is. It was doing. too late by the time you sent me that. Uh, <laughs> I, I always worry about that with Windows because Windows will uh, start updating my laptop in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I, that's the worst. Dude. It's like I'll open the laptop, too, super inspired, ready to write. And it's like, oh, we have to upload your software. This will take 20 minutes. Like, what? Yeah. This is stupid. Give me the option to not do this. Like, Mac, at least, will give me the option. It'll say it up in the corner. Do you want to, you know, there's a new update available. Do you want to update it? Right. And then it downloads it. And then goes, do you want to do this right now? Yeah. You know, we download it. We can do it later. <laughs> with with Windows, is that normal? Or maybe, I think it was like an old. Turn off or on. I think. Really? What's that? This is a setting to turn off like auto updates or whatever. Oh, oh there's a setting on Windows as well? Yeah. Oh. Ooh.